Dr. Mindy here, and I've got a new study for you, and it's going to blow your mind. So a study came out in The Lancet saying that there's a fairly large percentage of women that are never going to lose weight unless they exercise. Is that you? How do you know? If you're struggling to lose weight, you need to hear this video because there's a lot of nuance and a lot of light to be shed on a study like this. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm on a mission to change the world's health, especially women. I wanna empower you all to take back control of your health. And many of the videos I do here are free resources and ways that you can start to lose weight. You can get your mental clarity back. You can balance your hormones without ever spending a dime. So I'm super excited you're here. And if you're new, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and dive on in. There's over a thousand videos now on my channel. So I'm excited to share this one with you. Okay, The Lancet. The Lancet is a big journal, y'all. This is not like a small study. So when something comes out in The Lancet, most doctors are gonna listen. So this study was really, really interesting because what it showed was that there are, there's a group of women and they're never gonna lose weight unless they exercise. And that's about 20% of us, which is actually a fairly high amount. And so these women, what they've done is tried every diet, they've tried fasting, they've tried everything possible to be able to lose weight and nothing worked until they threw exercise at it. So when I dove into the study and started to look at the mechanism of why this group of women, why exercise works so well, it all came down to one key part of our cells called our mitochondria. That what these women were lacking is healthy mitochondria. And so when they try to change their food, when they tried to fast, and there's some nuance here with fast I want to talk about, but when they tried to diet, that was what the Lancet study showed, is when they tried to diet, they got nothing. How many? Put it in the comments. How many of us have had nothing happen when we diet? So when they threw exercise at it, now these women started to lose weight. It would be very easy to look at a study like this and go, well, that's calorie in, calorie out. So that makes perfect sense. But that's not what happened. What happened is when they started to exercise, they strengthened and healed their mitochondria. Here's what you need to know about the mitochondria. You have trillions of cells in your body and each cell is packed with multiple mitochondria. Certain parts of the body have more mitochondria than others. And these mitochondria are energy producers. They are the metabolizers of the body. They make ATP, they make glutathione to detoxify you. They start to turn on autophagy when you're fasting. And when they are sick, the cells become sick. And when cells are sick, you don't release weight. So when I looked at this study, I realized that actually we could all benefit from the knowledge that this study provides us, but here's a simple way to interpret it. If you're not losing weight with dieting, let's throw some mitochondrial re-energizers in there. And when we look at exercise, there's one really key mitochondrial re-energizer, and that's HIIT training. So this isn't just going for a walk. This isn't just hopping on the treadmill for 10 hours. You actually need to bring your heart rate up and down and you need to be out of breath, like where you're bent over and you're actually struggling to breathe. When that happens, it re-energizes those mitochondria and makes them more efficient, which speeds up metabolism, speeds up ATP production, speeds up detoxification of the cell. But don't fall prey to the fact that you're gonna hop on a treadmill and go at the same speed for an hour and you're gonna lose weight. That's not gonna happen. You've gotta come at this from the way that your mitochondria wanna be treated. So HIIT training, heart rate up and down. We do this in my academy every Saturday morning. I gather my academy members and we do HIIT training, then we do a coffee chat. And I love it because it is the best, most time efficient way to exercise. HIIT training, by the way, guys, it's like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. It's not a lot. So if you're struggling with diet to be the solution, let's start with HIIT training. Okay, check this out. I have a free fasting guide for you all. It's free. 
and it's gonna teach you all the basics of fasting. It's gonna teach you how to kill hunger when you fast, which is really cool. And it's gonna show you how to break your fast, among many other things. All you gotta do is click on the link below and enjoy. Second thing I wanna talk about with re-energizing of the mitochondria, this is where fasting rocks. So if you haven't tried fasting, let's start by getting you doing some intermittent fasting, 13 to 15 hours. But if you have been fasting a lot and you have been working on dieting and you're still not dropping weight, then yes, throw in HIIT training, but then I would say, are you varying your fasts? It's that with the mitochondria, it's a little bit like you gotta push at them. You gotta give them a little bit of a hormetic stress. You gotta make them a little uncomfortable so they re-energize themselves. So if you're kind of in a groove of doing 15 hours, 20 hours, you're not dropping any more weight, it's time for a 36 hour one. So remember it's the in and out. So make sure that you're pushing your fast long enough. If you're like, I'm dieting and I am like fasting 72 hours every month and I'm still not dropping weight, you may be one of those people that needs to stop fasting for a while and then go back in to pushing your fast. So remember the body's smart. It gets complacent, it gets comfortable. And when it's comfortable, it doesn't drop weight. So we've got to add some kind of hormetic stress in there to re-energize those mitochondria. So first thing is we're going to look at HIIT training. If you want to drop more weight, do a 15, 20 minute HIIT workout. Make sure you're getting that heart rate up and down. Second thing, let's make sure that we're fasting. And if you've been comfortable with your fasting, it's time to push your fast. Third thing that I'll say that your mitochondria love. And I did a whole video on this. So go, go watch that video. Your mitochondria love protein. So are you eating enough protein? You gotta be doing at least a gram of protein for every body weight that you wanna be. So if you're 160 and you wanna be 130, you need to get 130 grams of protein into your body every single day. So you combine variation of fast HIIT training with the protein cycling I taught you in other videos, and I promise you, you will lose weight. So when a study like this comes out, I know you all are too smart. You, I know many of you have been around my YouTube channel for a while. I know that you don't fall prey to the headlines, but this headline's gonna come out and the whole world's gonna be like, whoa, I guess I'm only supposed to, I need to exercise to lose weight. So there is some truth to that but let's make sure you're doing the proper exercise, combining that with fasting, combining with that with protein, and poof, you're gonna start to drop weight. So if you've used that strategy and it's worked, please tell us in the comments so that we can benefit from your knowledge because we are a community here. But I always, I always, always, always wanna end with this. You are a miracle. When you get stuck with your health, I want you to not give up on yourself. Please, please, please don't give up on yourself. There's a reason because the body was born to heal and it was born to lose weight. So when you get stuck, let's go diving for the answers. So as always, I hope that helps. Okay, are you fasting and you're still not losing weight? Check out this video because you might be missing a key part of your fasting experience that's gonna unlock weight loss. So if you think about it, all the humans that emerged out of that time have the gene that allows us to go without food and that gene they believe is in all of us today.